Um, the important bit though is that crowdfunding is often misconceived as being just for businesses that are startups. Um, at Funding Tree, we look at businesses which are both startup as well as through to established. And we can facilitate that because debt and equity transactions can be facilitated through platforms such as ours. Um, it's interesting to note that every day UK businesses continue to seek funding. And in fact, 20 billion per annum is raised on behalf of SMEs through the various forms of finance that it currently exists. So that's 20 billion per year that businesses are looking for in order to start, expand, develop, grow, acquire. Um, and at the moment, as we've seen throughout the last couple of years, there are still, there are still significant barriers to entry for many of those businesses looking to, to raise that funding. Now, an interesting point is that many of these smaller businesses actually have very similar uh, reward profiles, return profiles. Many of them are actually generating between 25 and 40 percent return on turnover. Now that's quite an interesting point because actually many, many businesses in the FTSE are only making around 5 to 7 percent and through that they have to obviously reward investors through dividends, these sort of things. So actually lots of smaller businesses, whilst not glamorous in their appearance, actually have a slightly more higher tolerance to sustain fluctuations in business cycles. But you know these are everyday businesses that we see on the street and the reason for that is that as consumers, we rely on a lot of these high street businesses on a daily basis. So greengrocers, hairdressers, local chemists, florists. And even if the, there are uh, fluctuations in the business cycle, we still need these things. We still go to the shops to buy food. So um, these are the sort of businesses that are going to benefit significantly from the, uh, the, 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 the change in crowdfunding and its accessibility for investors.